Since I'm in the Pine Grove WordPress plugin beta and have been creating videos about it, I've had quite a few questions asking about the differences between the desktop version and the plugin version. The simple answer to that question is not many. Pine Grove is written in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and it's cross-platform by design. This allows Pine Grove to deploy the same code across all their platforms, including the browser-based web application. Of course, by nature of it being a web application, tailored specifically for WordPress, some things are going to work differently in the WordPress plugin than the desktop application. Before I get started, please keep in mind that the Pine Grove WordPress plugin is still in a very early closed beta. We're typically getting one or more updates every day with new features, changes, and bug fixes. So anything I say today might be outdated tomorrow. With that all said, let's take a look at them. First, the most obvious difference is that the desktop version of Pinegrow uses your local file system to save projects and export files. The WordPress plugin saves those projects to your WordPress database and your exported files directly to the WP plugins and themes folders on your WordPress site. This one change has a few trickle down implications just due to the nature of the local versus server based workflows. For example, in the desktop version of Pinegrow, you have the option to use an external compiler for Tailwind. This lets us have full control over the Tailwind theme options and allows us to use additional Tailwind plugins. The WordPress plugin version uses a built-in Tailwind compiler and only gives you a few customization options. Pinegrow Desktop also lets you access and modify your code directly on your computer using any third-party development tools you want, like VS Code or JetBrains. Since the WordPress plugin version is all browser-based, you just don't have that kind of flexibility, and you're limited to the somewhat rudimentary code editor that is built into Pinegrow. Source control is another big difference. With Pinegrow Desktop, you can use Git or any other source control system to manage your code since everything's saved as a local file. The WordPress plugin has a nice revisions feature, but it's nowhere near as full featured as what you get with a local workflow. In terms of frameworks, Pinegrow Desktop supports multiple versions of Bootstrap and Tailwind, as well as Foundation, AngularJS, and Materialize. The Pinegrow WordPress plugin only supports the latest versions of Bootstrap, Tailwind, and plain HTML and CSS. For most purposes though, this is just fine. Component libraries are another place where the desktop and plugin versions are different. On the desktop, you can include all sorts of third-party libraries such as Tailwind UI, or you can create your own libraries of reusable components to bring onto your site. The Pinegrow WordPress plugin, however, only supports the blocking component libraries created and hosted by Pinegrow. I'm told this is mainly because of security reasons. It's not all bad though. You can still use any third-party components and libraries you want. You just have to copy and paste them rather than having an integrated drag and drop panel. The last big difference is that Pinegrow Desktop has built-in SAS and LESS compilers, and it supports Pug syntax for quickly adding elements to your page. I've been told that Pug wasn't included because it adds too much overhead to the plugin, and it's still a little bit unclear whether SAS and LESS compilers are going to be added to the plugin before it's launched. The trade-off for these capabilities, however, is complexity. With Pinegrow Desktop, it's almost necessary to use a local WordPress server, something like LocalWP, Laragon, or Laravel Valet. This is fine for initial development, but for making small changes once your project's live, it can be quite a hassle. The Pinegrow WordPress plugin, on the other hand, lets you simply jump onto your site, make your changes, and apply them. For supporting and maintaining a production website, it's much, much more time efficient. Working on the WordPress plugin has given Pinegrow the opportunity to add some quality of life things that'll likely show up on the desktop version in a future update. One of the most obvious things is the placement of the insert menu. On the desktop, it currently lives in the panel just like every other property, but the plugin version moves it to a drop down menu on the top of the screen where it's always available. I wasn't sure about this change when I first saw it, but it quickly grew on me, and from what I've heard, more people like it there than they do in its current location. Another big change, and this one's very welcome, is the addition of a new setting for the WordPress menu action. Today, the menu smart action only handles styling for top level menus unless you're using Bootstrap. Any submenu styling or action needs to be added by hand using the classes that WordPress adds to the rendered menus. In the Pinegrow WordPress plugin, they added a setting where you can define a template for a menu item with a dropdown, so that styles, elements, and actions for dropdown menu items can all be created inside Pinegrow without any guesswork. I wish this feature could have been added a few weeks ago before I started my most recent Pinegrow project. It would have easily saved me hours of time. There are other smaller differences and some bug fixes that aren't worth mentioning here, but you get the general idea. Put simply, Pinegrow Desktop is aimed at power users and developers. The Pinegrow WordPress plugin is positioned as a low-code solution that offers almost all the benefits of Pinegrow Desktop without its hassles. There are compelling benefits and drawbacks to each platform, so I suspect that I'll end up using both once the plugin's released. I'll likely keep Pinegrow Desktop for me and my main developer to use while we're building projects, but after launch, I'll have the Pinegrow WordPress plugin installed on their servers so we can make small changes and provide real-time support. 
The great thing about PineGrow is that the projects are interchangeable. I can easily import PineGrow desktop projects into the WordPress plugin, and I can just as easily export a project from the WordPress plugin to use on the desktop. It's really a win-win scenario. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below.